I had a $500 package I needed to ship and I wanted to make sure that it didn't get damaged in transit. So here's how I used about $5 to package up um, a really amazing shock resistant package. I've always been fascinated with using great stuff foam and this is how I did it. Here's what I'm packaging. It's a model kit that costs $500 and weighs about 20 pounds. It builds this fellow. It's heavy enough that it needs multiple walls to protect it. I found that out the hard way. I've used foam sheets in the past to make my boxes impact resistant, but it's so messy and so expensive. Anyhow, I've packed this kit in a small Walmart box. Happens to be one that was used the last time I moved. Notice the critical dimensions are 14 by 14. We close the kit up inside the box and put air pockets on the top and tape it up tight. Now we're going to pack this little box into a large Walmart box. Notice the 18 by 18 dimensions, two inches bigger than the 14 by 14 dimensions on both sides. That's important. I've turned the large box inside out to make it look nicer on the outside, but when the guy opens it, he's still going to see Grandma's China. Inside, this scheme relies on four pieces of scrap cardboard. I've cut them on the bandsaw to hold that inside box about two inches off the corners and sides of the outside box. Approximate is good enough here. These cardboard pieces get taped onto the small box, and they hold the box in place while the foam sets. Now it's time for the great stuff. I think I gave $3.50 for this can on sale. Well, here's the fun part. I've been fascinated with the idea of doing this for a long time. We'll see how she works. You can see the piles in the corners better in this picture. So at this point I've gone all the way around the upper corners and that's pretty much it for my can. I don't think I'm getting any more out of there. So now we'll just let it cure and shut the box. Alright guys, so here it is. Um, well, about two hours later you can see how much the uh, Foam has grown. It's well secured on all eight corners. And I'll just go ahead and close up that box, make it look nice and neat. And of course, we'll trim it down just a little bit, and I'll show you a last picture of that as well. There we go. But you can see that those four corners there, very, very secure, um, and a lot of extra padding. So anti-shock, anti-damage packing, and it cost me two cardboard boxes and three and a half dollars of great stuff foam. So there you have it. Tough as nails and light as a feather. I feel really confident that this one is going to make it through the postal system without any trouble. Of course the guy on the other end is in for a bit of a surprise when he opens it. Hope this inspires you to do your own packing 